G'day Poetry Geeks, I'm Jackson and you are watching The Poetry Show. And in today's Poetry Show, I'm going to be dealing with a comment from one of our viewers. Okay, so there was a comment just right now that I just read from a user who calls his or herself to every artist out there, dot, 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 ahem, please read icon for rest of your description. And the icon says, you are all worthless. That's quite a mouthful. So I'm just gonna refer to this person as Joe. So what Joe says in their comment is that as somebody who's written prose for their entire life, they would just like to say that writing poetry is incredibly difficult. They use a slightly different turn of phrase and you can look up their turn of phrase if you watch the video about the golden rule for writing poetry. I'll give you a clue, having a potty mouth is not the golden rule. But anyway, Joe says, uh, writing poetry is incredibly difficult. And I hear this all of the time. I hear this from people all of the time because there is this myth that a good poet is doing something so difficult that nobody else can achieve it unless they are born with this innate skill to be a poet. And it's a very common myth and it's a common misconception and it's made worse by a lot of teachers. Now, I'm an English teacher and I've probably done this myself. In fact, I can think of one student whom I was um, a little bit rude to and I suggested that um, they would not actually be able to write particularly good poetry. And I didn't say it to them bluntly, but that was the implication. And this student, to her credit, did not listen to me and she handed me a poem anyway even though I was quite dismissive of the idea of people writing poetry at the time. So I'm very glad that she didn't listen to me, and I'm very glad if you are watching this video, then you also probably have the thought in your head that you can disagree with and potentially even disobey your English teachers and go on and write poetry, whatever they say. But part of the reason why people think poetry is so difficult is because the only real examples that we get to see of poetry regularly are the very best pieces of poetry. So the poetry you look at when you're in school or in college or in university is usually the stuff that has been published in anthologies. It's not just stuff that a few people thought was excellent, it's stuff that is world renowned and academics believe it to be a wonderful and valuable thing. And we hold ourselves to that same standard because we think, I think, we often think quite erroneously that because poems are quite short, Everybody should be able to do them, and everybody should be able to do them to the sort of caliber we see when we first encounter them in school. Now, I think everybody can probably work on their poetry so it gets to a point where it could be considered um, in that way. But one of the things that we often come up against is we want to be at that space, we want to be at that spot in our ability as soon as we put pen to paper. Because as Joe says, We've all been writing prose for our entire lives, so why can't we write poetry? What is it about it that's so difficult? And really, we haven't been writing prose our entire lives. We started off, we couldn't even speak our native tongue. We couldn't speak English or we couldn't speak whatever language is your first language. We sure couldn't write it down. We couldn't write anything worth reading. And then as we grow, we learn our alphabets. We learn how to put sentences together. And sometimes that takes us years. We learn how to put that into paragraphs. We learn how to make meaning. We learn how to have an effect on a reader. And we think that because we've been doing that and because we've reached that level of success, that that must all automatically transfer over into poetry. But poetry is just simply a different type of writing and it takes time to learn. It doesn't take as long as prose if you've already learned how to write prose. So that's one thing you've got going in your favor, but you can't give up on it. It's very easy to get started with poetry and it's very easy to get put off from wanting to write more poetry because often we can be very dismissive of people's first attempts at writing poetry. So ignore people's dismissive claims about adolescent or amateur poetry because it doesn't matter. Like most things, getting really good at poetry just takes practice. I'll give you two examples that aren't to do with poetry but both apply to me personally. I, learned to, I started learning to play the guitar when I was about 14, 15 years old. I also started... I probably went for my first run 
Um, my first run further than you know whatever they made me do at school when I was about 15, okay? And in both attempts at starting those two things, I was dreadful. The first time I tried to learn to play guitar, I kept giving up. I tried to learn to play the guitar when I was about 14 or 15. I could not hold chords down. Um, I could not, my fingers weren't strong enough, they got painful, um, they just, it, it was horrible. It was a horrible experience and I found it incredibly frustrating and I gave up. And the first time I went for a run, I went for a run around my local park and I promise you this is true, I threw up on the pavement and I hadn't even run very far. And this is something that happens to us when we start out. We believe that that's what it's always going to be like. It's always going to hurt our fingers and it's always going to make us throw up. But obviously that's not true. Now I'm a very capable distance runner. I can run pretty much any distance I want as long as I train for it. And I'm never going to break a world record, but that doesn't matter. That's not why I do it. I've been playing guitar now since I was probably about 18 and I'm now 33, so you can do the maths on that. In all of that time, I've been able to play the guitar pretty competently. I'm never going to be Jimi Hendrix, even though I've been playing guitar probably longer than Jimi Hendrix actually ever played guitar when he was alive. Um, but despite that, it doesn't matter. I'm much, much better at playing the guitar than I was, and I'm much, much better at running than I first was. So all you need to do is realize that it takes practice like everything else. One of the pieces of advice I gave to Joe in the comments, and remember Joe is not their real name, uh, one of the pieces of advice I gave to Joe in the comments was one thing you can do very early on as a poet is start to copy other poets. Just write out your own version of your ideas in a style and a form very similar to a poet that you already like. Now you shouldn't do that and then go off and try and publish that poetry as your own stuff because it's, it will be obvious to people that know the poet you're mimicking that you're just trying to rip them off. But the other example I gave to Joe was when I was a kid, I used to draw, um, I used to copy frames of manga um, comics uh, just to practice sketching and drawing. Now again, I never went on to become a great artist or graphic designer or any of those things. I certainly haven't gone off to be a fantastic manga animator. Um, in fact, I haven't drawn anything from, through choice in many, many years. But the point is, I used to mimic somebody else's style until I had learned some of the mechanics of holding a pencil properly or holding a pen properly and learning some things about proportion and those sorts of things. And then I could go off and I could start to do my own drawings that weren't simply copying something that somebody else had already done. So once you give yourself that confidence boost by copying somebody you admire, you then can go away and become your own type of poet. You can use your own style. And it's a similar thing with people playing the guitar. They'll copy a particular, you know, they'll learn somebody else's songs before they ever try and write their own songs. And um, so poetry is no different. So if you've ever thought that poetry is far too difficult, it's far too off-putting, and there's no way someone like you could write poetry you are wrong. You absolutely can write poetry. The only thing you need to do is practice. And it's one of the easiest things to practice because all you need is a pen, a pencil, a piece of paper, whatever you want, anything you can write with and you can start being a poet today. So today's poetry video is not about how to become a better poet, it's simply about whether or not you can be one. And of course the answer to that is yes you can. And if I didn't believe that was true, I wouldn't be making all of these videos. So please do be encouraged, please continue writing to write poetry. Joe, if you see this, and I know your name's not Joe, you can tell me your real name in the comments if you like, and I'll give you a shout out in the next video. But Joe, if you're watching this, don't worry. You can be a prose warrior for as long as you like, but you will never have the soul of a poet until you try to be a poet, and it is worth trying to be a poet. So good luck, and I hope you all have success with your future writing of poetry. And if you found this video inspiring and you want to go off and write your own poetry now, then I can recommend my other videos in this playlist about how to become a poet as being a pretty decent place to start. So thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this please subscribe and I will catch you next time. Good luck.